Hey guys, Mike here from NB Creative. Let's jump right into the video, which is 10 pieces of software or web apps or websites that filmmakers can use and that you might want to get familiar with while you're staying at home. The first app is Airtable. Now, I did talk about this in a couple of the past videos, but Airtable is basically spreadsheets that can do a whole lot more than spreadsheets. We use it for a project management software, but a lot of people use it for inventory, collecting data, or just organizing their life in general. So like I said, for us, the main thing we use it for is project management. We keep track of all of our projects and we keep track of all the statuses of all of our projects, as well as any links, notes, email addresses, due dates, and anything else that we think might be important to the project. Now it is kind of cool you can use it as a database for other things. For instance, we also use it as a catalog for actors that we've used in the past so that we don't have to do casting calls and so that we can quickly see photos and contact information for those actors so that we can get in touch with them for projects. We also use Airtable to manage a couple other things, but the main thing we use it for is project management and then the second main thing is to keep track of all of our outside actors. Now Airtable does have a free plan, which is really great to get you started. They do have some great upgraded features or more features in their paid plans, which we eventually upgraded to the paid plan over time. But we did start with the free plan and when we outgrew that, we eventually had to go to the paid plans. Now the next app is kind of a simple one, but it does depend on what operating system you're running and that is a mail client. So for us, we all use Mac, so we use Mac Mail, but for instance with Windows, Outlook is a great option too. Now even though we love Gmail's interface and there are a lot of plugins and a lot of extensions for Gmail, we just found that because we work with multiple email inboxes, especially a shared email inbox for the company, having a mail client where you can have multiple email boxes and you can transfer in between email boxes very easily is just a great and easy way to go. For instance, if we see a message that's meant for me or our accounts manager or our head of post-production, we can actually flag those and it will sync with that person's email inbox so that they can see that in the shared inbox, it's flagged for them so they can follow up with it instead of having to forward it to their personal email or their business email. So even though we have Airtable for our project management, we still needed a to-do list or just a get things done list for the company and just for individuals. And for that, we use Microsoft To Do. Now we were a big fan of Wonderlist or Wunderlist when it came out, but Microsoft bought them and they've been developing Microsoft To Do ever since. Microsoft To Do is actually a pretty great to-do list considering a lot of the things that it can do and it's free. One great thing is Microsoft keeps taking feature requests from users to try to make their product better and it just keeps getting better and better over time with better and better features. Now we use this for all sorts of things. A lot of us here at Envy have our own individual lists for things that we need to accomplish, but we also have shared lists for things like things we need to buy at the studio, or things we need to get done at the studio, or just group lists that we can share with each other so that we can add things to the list so that we can all see them and hopefully it'll get done quicker. Now the next piece of software is more of a web app and it's more geared towards people that actually have shoots and need to send out call sheets and that's a web app called Easy Call Sheets. Now Easy Call Sheets actually came out about three or four years ago and they were in a beta and they pretty much just took a lot of feature requests and wanted to see the feedback on it and they just actually recently re-released for the public so I would definitely go try them out. They have a 14 day trial so that you can see all the features and see if it's a good fit for you. But basically what it is, is if you are on a film shoot, you need to send out a call sheets to all your actors and crew with all the filming information. And basically easy call sheets just makes it really easy to input all that information, send it out to everybody, and then you're done. One of the great things that we like about them, besides their 14 day trial, which gives you plenty of time to play with all of their features, is that if you decide to upgrade to their paid plan, it's only $10 a month and you get unlimited call sheets, unlimited files, unlimited everything. Whereas a couple of other websites that do a similar thing, they charge a lot more and you definitely don't get unlimited features without paying a lot of money for it. Now the next piece of software is also a website, but it also has software companions and that's called frame.io. Now a lot of people might have heard of this, but basically it's a cloud video collaboration platform where you can either upload videos, you can upload footage, you can upload dailies. There's really a lot of things that it can do from 
syncing with your editor to mark different places to tell them which parts to edit. And also one of the ways that we use it, which is to quality control our QC projects, where if I'm remote, our head of post-production will upload it to frame, I will get a notification, I can watch it there on my phone, make any edits, or I can just tell them that it's approved to send to the client. So the next one is kind of a combo between a website and an app, and that's Google Photos. A lot of people have probably heard of Google Photos, but the best reason for filmmakers to use it is to back up your photos, footage, or videos. Now the great thing is Google Photos offers free unlimited backup for photos and videos. Now with videos, it does downsample it to a 1080p MP4 file, and with photos, it does downsample it to a 16 megapixel max photo file, but it can even convert it from raw. And it's just a great place just to dump footage, just to dump video, just to dump photos, just so you have it in case you don't wanna back them up on external hard drives, back them up somewhere else in the cloud. And it's just a great place just to store everything. Now, if you're looking for a specific file, you may need to look around a little bit or sort by faces, for instance, because they don't really have a file structure like something like Google Drive, but it's still really great just to make sure you have everything backed up so you don't have to worry about it. So the next one is a piece of software for Mac, and I think they might have it for Windows, but it's mainly for Mac. It's called Permute, and it's a very simple video converter software. Now, in one of the past videos, we did talk about a video conversion software that we use to convert to MP4 files for archiving, but this is more of a really lightweight video converter software if you just need to convert something really quickly. Now, we used to use Envato's Turbo HD video converter, which was really great. I really wish they had 64-bit support, but now that all of the operating systems are moving to 64-bit, they don't anymore, so we had to look around to find a new one. Basically, when we were looking for a new one, we needed something that all we had to do was drag and drop and maybe choose one of a couple choices for video converting. Nothing really, really intense. And this was really the only one that we could find that did all of that. Now, it does cost a little money. It costs $15, but they do have a free trial, so I would definitely go check it out. And if you like it, definitely give it a try. Now the next one I won't go into too much because a lot of people already have it or they're looking to get it, which is a piece of editing software. Now as you probably know by now, we use Final Cut Pro 10 at our studio, which we really, really love. We do like Premiere, but we just feel like Final Cut 10 has a faster workflow and because we're working on so many projects at once, we really need something to get the projects out the door as quickly and as best as we can. Now we have used Premiere for some projects and we use those for really big projects where we have lots of footage, lots of assets because you can really dial in and really organize things well with Premiere and it works really well with the other Creative Cloud apps like Photoshop and After Effects. But even if you don't wanna pay all that much or anything at all, you can still get your feet wet by using iMovie, by using some apps that are on your iPhone or on your Android phone, or there are some other free apps out there like DaVinci Resolve that's free and it's a non-linear editor and it's a great way to kind of get started and then maybe move into Premiere or Final Cut or Avid. The next piece of software kind of goes with your editing software and basically it's just a marketplace for different extensions and that's called FX Factory. Now this is an app that is also a website, but it lives on your computer. And basically it's just a really easy way to download plugins and extensions for your editor and install them really, really easily. If you sign up for their newsletter, a lot of the times they have specials going on and sales where they have 10 or $20 off, which is usually the way that we buy because we see something that we say, oh, we could really use that. And then we end up buying it. But we have gone through if we need very specific things but they also have some free stuff, so you can check that out as well. And the software itself, the Marketplace software, is free, so you might as well give it a shot. Now the last one is another backup software, but it's called Crash Plan Pro. And a lot of people have heard of Crash Plan along with Backblaze and a lot of other cloud backup softwares, but the reason we like Crash Plan is it's unlimited backup, so you get unlimited storage in the cloud for $10 a month per device, which is really great. And it also includes NAS drives or network attached storage or servers, so it can also back up your server. So if you have, say, a 20 terabyte server, you still do need a computer to be able to mount it onto and back up from there, but 
$10 a month for unlimited backup, so for instance 20 terabytes, is a pretty good deal. Thanks so much everyone for watching, and if you have your own suggestions for software that filmmakers could use, or if you have any questions about the things that I said today, feel free to let me know, and I'll see you in the next one.